spotted lanternflies. Yeah, they're a nuisance. And for the last couple of years, experts have called for people to kill them. They say it's in the best interest of the environment. However, some methods are actually harming more wildlife than they are the lanternflies. Check out these images. Sadly, these are birds that were caught in the popular glue traps that people are now using. Some are even dying from their injuries. So joining us now is Christopher Sousey, executive director of nonprofit, the Raptor Trust. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. Pleasure to be with you. Appreciate you doing that. Uh, tell us about these glue traps for people who don't know. Like what, what are they? What's your team seeing out in the field? Sure. I mean, it's a product that's readily available at home centers. So, you know, it's sort of a wrap of tape that you can put around a tree. The spotted lantern fly, especially in, uh, in, in its nymph stage, um, are attracted to trees. They climb on trees. As they're climbing up the tree, they get caught in this tape, but the tape is non-discriminatory. You know, it catches anything that climbs in it. So sometimes that's other beneficial insects like pollinators and butterflies and moths. Um, and unfortunately, I think that a lot of birds that are insect eaters are drawn to these struggling insects. They look like an easy meal and then the birds also get caught in these traps and uh, you know, the results are pretty tragic, really. So it sounds very similar to like the glue traps that catch mice and anything else that happens to step into them. But there, the options are limited. So what about wire traps? We've seen those as well. Is that better? Well, there are, I mean, there's several different kinds of traps, um, you know, that are non-chemical and non-glue that uh, that are effective against the spotted lantern fly. And, um, you know, we're over here in New Jersey, so we're real close to, uh, to, to your home state of Pennsylvania. So we're all kind of in this, uh, the same boat together. Uh, Penn State has actually really been one of the leaders in research on this. And there are some suggestions for different kinds of traps um, that they've made. One is called a circle trap. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's, a, it's a lighter mesh. It's like a like screen that you would use on a screen door. You kind of wrap your tree um, with that and build a bit of a funnel at the top. So as the insects climb up under the mesh, they get kind of funneled into this. And at the top of the funnel, you can put a big gallon jug or a large plastic bag. The bugs all end up in that. They're easily disposed of, and then you can replace that jug. So that's one type of trap that works. Also, I know that some people are probably going to use the sticky tape just because it's really easy, but um, it can sort of be disarmed and made a little bit safer for other wildlife by building a bit of a wire cage around it. We so recommend... Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, because we're running short on time, what do you do if you encounter other things trapped in these traps, the birds or what have you, and you want to help? How do you help? Right. I mean, the best thing to do is to try to get that tape off of there, you know, cut it down and get that animal to a licensed wildlife rehabilitator. Um, in the case of the birds, if you can put uh, like some uh, napkins or something around other parts of the sticky tape that are still exposed so the birds don't get themselves stuck further, they can really damage their feathers, cause abrasions to their skin, even break their own bones trying to free themselves. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. All right, and people can get more information. They can find you online. We'll post all of your information on fox29.com so people can get more help. But thank you for taking time with us this morning. Great, thanks. All right, you take care.